morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Welcome to our Saturday morning mass as we commemorate our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary. Today also we remember this September 11, 20 years ago, we know the tragic event which took place in the U.S. We would like to present and pray for all the victims of this tragedy and those who saved life and those injuries probably still are there till today. We bring all in this mercy and ask our Blessed Mother to embrace them with your maternal love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We are created to give or to bear good fruits in our lives. And sometimes we do not. And therefore let us ask God for mercy for his pardon, for not being responsible, for bearing the rules. I confess. Through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask you, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these, I am the foremost. But for the reason I was mercifully treated, so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the king of ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations, is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. 
Who is like the Lord our God and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Bless Praise be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but it could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and it was completely destroyed. Brothers and sisters, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Today, listening to the first reading, we need to answer one question. Why did Jesus come into the world? Why did Jesus come into the world? Paul is reminding the, uh, Timothy about the work of Jesus, the sacrifice that Jesus did to save sinners, to save us from the crutches of the evil, of the devil, of the Satan. And therefore we needed to be happy because we are saved because Jesus is our Redeemer. And this gives us the reflection of the second, the second reading, which is the Gospel, by answering why Jesus came into the world, we needed to answer 
what are we doing? If Jesus came to save us, then how do we respond to this work of salvation? That's what Jesus says. The work of salvation is to bear good fruit. He compares these people who are redeemed by him with the trees. I say there is a tree which gives bad fruits because the tree itself is bad. And there is a tree which gives good fruits because the tree is good. You and me may be those trees. Jesus wants us today to reflect and to examine on ourselves which kind of tree are we and which kind of fruits are we bearing in this world. Are they corresponding to the work of Christ of redeeming us? Or we are following another redeemer who also pulls us away from the hands of Jesus, from the teachings of Jesus. So he continued to say, okay, I will talk more about it. Those who listen my words and do not practice it, do not bear good fruits because of what they hear from me, I like those people who build uh, their houses on a ground. Uh, some uh, translations say on the sandy ground, which is not very strong. So wind comes, rain comes, floods, and uh, these houses will be washed away. But if we listen and practice what he teaches us, doing the will of God, we will have a solid foundation, like a house built on a rock. We are sure it will stand. The same, our faith is the foundation of our life, our Christian life. Uh, we need to ask again ourselves, this faith, is it built in our a rock foundation or just a ground on the sand? We need to keep this faith by listening to all that Jesus is teaching us to all that the church is offering to us in order to consolidate this foundation. Otherwise, as is the first example, many other things will take our attention, will corrupt this faith which we have received from the time of our baptism. And as a result, we will be wavering. But I'm sure many of us listening to this word, we can say, yes, I'm trying. I'm not yet perfect, but I'm trying. And that is what we are to do in this word, to try. And in trying, there is joy because we might be successful uh, rather than not trying at all. And therefore today, as we remember this day also of our Blessed Mother, who listened and practiced what Jesus, what God said to him through the angels, and continued to listen uh, God, the voice of God, all throughout her life, until she became the saint of the saints. She sacrificed her life not to embrace all of the joys, all of the greatness of this world. She listened to the word of God and became a servant of God who bore a good fruit, Jesus Christ. 
who became a source of joy and a victory for all of us. Today also, as you will remember this day, sad, uh, what I call a fateful day, 20 years ago, people did not, did not expect that a big tower could be uh, brought down in that simple way. It was firmly constructed. It was like a, on a uh, rock. The foundation was so big and tall building. But a eagle came and brought it down. So evil also has got a certain power which if we are not stable, it can make us fall. This day brings two sentiments to us, the sentiments of sadness, of a cry, of pain, because we lost a life. We lost a property. And there were many injuries. Today, still there are those who are injured even uh, mentally, psychologically. They still need to be healed because of only that event we call evil event. And therefore, we wanted to pray for all of those victims, the dead and those survivors. Not only the maternity of Mother Mary, the love of Mother Mary, and they may experience it in their lives. And those who are dead may be receiving the reward of eternal life. But on the other hand, we have to the sentiments of uh, service, sacrifice of those people who were there ready to help, to take people down from the 98-story building there and come down to the safety place. Some they did so and they saved many, many people. But some of them, after doing that, they disappeared. They are not known where. Their bodies were not found. And we say, they gave their lives in order to save life. And that is what Jesus did, to give his life in order to save our lives. So today, we remember them saying, yes, here are the people, the heroes who came to save life and they lost their lives. These two sentiments should give us the courage to bear good fruits, to be there when tragedies happen. And we thank our brothers, uh, Knight of Columbus, they are always there, ready to save, ready to help. But also, each one of us is called today by this invitation of Jesus to bear good fruit and to build our houses on a solid uh, foundation. Uh, we are called to be there always to even give our lives in order to save life. Amen. So this day is also called Patriot's Day. At the end, if we can sing the Song of America, just to honor these uh, victims and these heroes.
we need trust in our merciful God, we lift up our prayers to him. For the church, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit continue to unite us in his faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace in our world and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, may God's love bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those gathered here, may God give us the fortitude and wisdom needed in building our lives with him as our foundation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may they enter the fullness of the kingdom with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Georgia took sure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. God, our Father, we thank you for the gift of life. And we thank you for the courage you give us. We pray today as we present our prayers to you to help us to be courageous, always to be on the positive side to overcome evil and spread the goodness in our, in our societies. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money. Come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain.
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is a truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to its ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make it holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let us remember our dear ones. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Savior's command and from the by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life. Brothers and sisters, each of us call to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Lamb of God, you oh, take you away you the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. No more harm on the mountain of God. Swords into plowshares, free us, O Lord, from hardness of heart. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Wash us, Lord, in the waters of life, waters of mercy, waters of hope that flow from your side. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life, brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Body of Christ. Amen. God bless America, land of the free. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home.
Let us pray. As you will receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by, imit by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have one announcement to make. We will repeat again on the weekend that um, from next Monday, as we wrote somewhere on the doors, uh, we will not be using this church for our masses and adoration. So Monday we will have the mass here in the morning, and then the church will be closed for... We're going to be over there Monday morning. There? Yeah. We say from nine. Okay, we will. But on Monday, we will close this church uh, for cleaning the whole week. So we'll be using the outdoor sanctuary for our masses and uh, adoration. You can pass your word to our neighbors, our brothers and our sisters. Thank you all for being here this morning. And let us continue to remember our country and pray for the victims of this year anniversary. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful weekend. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountains' majesty above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet who stern in passion strive a thoroughfare for freedom beat across the wilderness. America, America, God shed his grace, his friends Confirm thy soul in self-control. Thy liberty oh, uh, in love. It's uh, the alarm. Yeah. Good for you, Dan.